Okay, first things first, we're gonna open the door. This is a piece of P20 tool steel. You can see right here, it says P20. This is about uh, Rockwell 30C. This is what we use. It's not incredibly difficult to machine, but it can be welded. It polishes up really nice. It just makes for a nice, it makes for a nice material to, to create a mold cavity, whether you're making a rubber or a plastic molded product. And now you see that there's four gauge pins here. I'll let Caden explain more of that to you uh, in the future. But when you're working out your first couple of parts, these are locating holes and for the mold bases that we have. And if you're wondering why we have this spiral pattern, it's because I don't like using a shell mill. I like using a nice sharp end mill. And as you can see, this leaves us a nice, a beautiful flat finish. I wish you guys could feel this, but it's beautiful. And what we do is we use gauge pins to make sure that we're getting super tight fits. The tolerance for this, see this one's not quite as loud, is 472 or between 472 and 473. So this is a 473 gauge pin and see it won't go. And so on this one, at, at, my, uh, at my request, I asked Caden to run the cutter comp just a little looser. And so this is a 473 but I think for the rest of them, we're gonna run them at 472. And uh, I'll explain to you guys why I wanted this one at 473 a little bit later on in the future, but just suffice to say, all future uh, pieces that we run are gonna be done at 472. And this, uh, let me come over here and I'll show you guys. This is how many we have to run. So we've, we've got a bunch of these that need to be ran today. And so that's what Caden's doing right now. So I'm gonna come over to the I'm gonna come over here. I'll have Caden basically explain it to you. So, so explain the ops, Caden. So, so the we, good main tool paths. So we face it off, um, and then we're gonna drill holes for the uh, mounting holes. Yep. The four of them, and then we also pre-drill the holes they just saw for the locating, and then we're gonna come down and rough the locating holes. Um, in a boring up and then uh boring not a boring head you're just going to do a spiral like a spiral uh a helic helical yeah, yeah. um and then we're gonna thread mill the m8 uh holes and then we'll run a chamfer and then it comes in and it pre-finishes and leaves ten thousand on the wall and i use uh these gauge pins right here to explain the process because i think it's super important so the the nominal size that we're shooting for is 472 that's right. And you've got it in cam as leaving 5,000 stock to leave on the wall, which means that's 10 thousandths on the diameter. Correct. So you're looking on your pre-finished toolpath for what diameter? I'm looking for 462. Okay, so what gauge pins do you have right here? So right here I have 461 and 460. Um, and so I'll check them with these. And if it is off, I can get the 462. But on the last one, it was... Uh, smaller than 462. So yeah, and so once, so once you measure your accurate size on your pre-finished cut, I you can then take the difference of what I should have and what I actually have, and come over here to tool wear set, and I can put in for my tool seven. I can put in my wear for the radius, and then when you take your final pass, I should be right on size. But that's that, and so. Caden's over here banging out uh, the bases for all these mold cavities one step at a time. And they're turning out great. The chamfer looks good. The thread mill is fitting great. And uh, yeah, rocking and rolling. Thought you guys might get a kick out of seeing what we do day to day. These will then go from here. They'll go into a fixture and they'll either go into the VM2 or they'll go and see all the lighting and stuff, or they'll go into the Akuma where the actual cavity shapes are cut into them. And then from there, they'll go to polish, and then they'll go to EDM, and then they go into production for whichever product they were meant for. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as we enjoyed making it, and let's get back to work.